a wood sculptor who actually took me on at the weekends and um, gave me the sort of chance to learn um, wood carving and wood and sort of wood sculpting skills, sort of abstract work more than sort of figurative work. And I just sort of over the years, last 10 or 12 years, have combined the two and, and things have sort of grown from strength to strength really. It's the challenge, really. I mean, it's an enormous piece of wood, and um, and you're working at height, and it's sort of there's an element of danger there, which is quite interesting. And and periodically, I, I love to stop and just look around and enjoy the view. But it's, it's the challenge of trying to make a piece as interesting and, and as exciting as I can from, from a big piece of wood. There are three pieces that I've made so far. Um, two of them are um, sort of representations of leaves and seeds to sort of celebrate the nat native tree collection they have here at Beacon Hill. Uh, and the other is a sort of celebration of some of the geology and um, history of the site. It's incredibly historic. With uh, There used to be, a, I think it's an Iron Age fort at the top of the hill and some of the oldest fossils in the world are in the rock formations at the top. I use oak because it's just the best for outdoors. I mean, there are, there are three woods that are good. There's oak, there's cedar, and there's wellingtonia. They're the most stable and give you the best uh, long life, really. I think that's, that's the reason. But oak, because everyone's familiar with it as a timber, and, and it is the best. Physically it's incredibly demanding because the tools are, are very powerful and they're very strong and they're quite heavy so it's, it's, it's tough work. I suppose one of the, my major bugbears is actually nothing to do with the tools, it's to do with the wood. So I'll buy a tree trunk and, and not know that there's rot in the heart of it so I can be halfway through a sculpture and come across rot which is, which is always a, a bit of a problem. It's the story of Lady Agnes, who um, was being pursued by a robber baron. She was a um, she had inherited some land from the death of her father, and she didn't want to marry this this chap. So she ran away and got lost in in the woods here and around. Kind of stumbled across a, a kind of settlement, which actually was um, a holy well where there was a hermit, and he revived her with the water. It's just lovely to be able to look up and see the blue sky. Um, at this time of year, uh, there are good and there are bad days. Um, but most of the year, I'm, I'm incredibly lucky. Yeah, I get to just, you know, I get to be outside and, and do what I love to do. So, yeah, I think it's wonderful, really. Okay, I think it's done now. <laughs>